Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Um, and a special thanks to uh, all my subscribers out there. So uh, don't forget this month, the month of January, we are running a special for all our subscribers, 20% off all of our, our cook stoves. Uh, we do some type of special every month for our subscribers. So if you hadn't subscribed to our newsletter, be sure and do that uh, and take advantage of that special price. Um, what I thought I'd do today is uh, I've got a book here, Cast Iron Cooking, it's from Johnny Cakes to Black and Redfish by A.D. Livingston. Now, we've added a uh, cookbook uh, section. Uh, if you look at the menu on the top of our blog, you'll see cookbooks. Um, and this is where we teamed up with the Amazon, so we've set up a little uh, Amazon bookstore. And uh, you will find this book under our cast iron cooking cookbooks. Um, I wanted to do a uh, recipe from here. So what I thought we'd do is uh, Mexican... Cast iron cooked chili, so it's old, old, uh, old chili con carne. Um, what we're going to do with this is we're going to use, well, we're going to do some bacon. We're going to use both beef and pork. Um, then, of course, you've got tomato sauce and onion, and we'll go through all the ingredients later on. But what I'm going to do to start with, we're going to put the, the bacon on. Once that's cooked, we'll start going through and putting all the other ingredients in. Uh, incidentally, we've done some beans on the side. So we are just going to do chili con carne, which means pepper with meat. And uh, over the years, uh, tomato sauce and what has gotten added in. But uh, we're going to cook this separate. Uh, when we serve it, we'll put the beans and this over the top. So um, let me get this bacon going in my Bayou Classic. Eight and a half quart cast iron Dutch oven. Now the, the cast iron Dutch oven, great for low and slow cooking, which we're going to be doing here with uh, chili. So this is a great piece of equipment for this. And then we just just make it with the bacon. Okay, so we'll let that cook up and get back with you in a few minutes here. Okay, I've uh, got the bacon bits done. I've browned the meat, uh, threw in the vegetables, um, onion, chili pepper, or, uh, green pepper, and some uh, garlic. Now I've got some beef broth I'm going to throw in here. Turn that around. Then I've got my pre-measured spices, chili, pepper, or oregano, what have you. And so it'll all be in the uh, in the recipe, in the book, and in the blog post. Okay, mix that around. Now I've got my jalapeno peppers um, seeded. Uh, if you want. You want it really hot, leave a few seeds, but uh, this is two color paint peppers, seeded and mixed. And we're going to put my crust, my crumbled bacon back in here. And 12 ounces tomato sauce. Okay, stir that. I'm going to bring that to a boil. And the recipe calls for it to cook for four to five hours. I've got some, some relatively small pieces of meat. I don't know if it's going to take quite that long. It might go three or so. Um, but here's what she looks like. Come on in. Let's see what she looks like. So what I'm going to do is bring all that to a boil. It's going to look pretty good. And uh, then we'll put the no, turn, put the top down, turn it down, and simmer it for, like I said, recipe says four to five hours. Well, you know, we may do three to four, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll get that rolling. We'll come back after it's simmered with the finished product and uh, give her a try. So thanks for being here. We'll catch you in a little bit.
Okay, that's uh, finished product. Um, what happened? I've got smaller chunks of uh, of meat in there, so after about two and a half hours, it was really tender. So what I did was there's still quite a bit of moisture in there. I just took the uh, lid off and let that boil down for about 20 minutes, half hour, and uh, what I'm going to do is try it right now. It looks all boy, it smells good. Now this is some beans that I already had done. I just nuked them. Uh, a little black bean recipe. Now, this recipe calls for pinto. But you know what? Beans are beans. So this is a good black bean recipe we may do for you again. Let me put that on there. Cooking from Johnny Cakes of Black and Red Fish, A.D. Livingston. Uh, this is a damn good chili recipe. I like this quite a bit. It makes a ton. And uh, yeah, that's really good. Lots of flavor. Very flavorful. So uh, give it a try. Once again, you can get this on our uh, website, uh, the Outdoor Cook Store blog.com. Up above, there's a cook, uh, cookbook section. You can check that out. And uh, of course, you can always buy the the uh, Bayou Classic Cast Iron Dutch Oven at the Outdoor Cook Store .com. Listen, thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed and uh, cook yourself up some chili. Hello, Tom with uh, the Outdoor Cook Store uh, Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Um, and a special thanks to uh, all my subscribers out there. So uh, don't forget this month, the month of January, we are running a special for all our subscribers, 20% off all of our outdoor cook stoves. Uh, we do some type of special every month for our subscribers. So if you hadn't subscribed to our newsletter, be sure and do that uh, and take advantage of those special prices. Um, what I thought I'd do today is uh, I've got a book here, Cast Iron Cooking, From Johnny Cakes to Black and Redfish by A.D. Livingston. Now, we've added a uh, cookbook 